Hello, I'm Charlie Bean. Today, the UK economy is one of the most modern, dynamic and diverse in the world. But many of the statistics that we use to measure that economy are governed by conventions put in place many, many years ago. Back then, businesses produced relatively similar products just within a single country. The reality today is completely different. Businesses operate across national borders and roughly three quarters of output is actually produced by the services sector. On top of that, the digital revolution is changing the way we conduct our lives, at work and at play. Roughly 90% of households have access to the internet and average time spent on the internet has doubled over the past decade. The internet has enabled a huge increase in the amount of data that is available. It has made possible completely new ways of supplying and exchanging services. Take one example. Suppose you're going on holiday. A few years ago, you would have paid a travel agent to book you a hotel room. Then you would have bought a map to find your way around the city. Maybe when you got there, you would have paid to make a phone call back home. What happens today? You use Airbnb to make the booking without any charge, free Google Maps to find your way around the city, Skype or WhatsApp to make a free call back home. All that economic activity that used to be in GDP is now being generated by services that are either free or paid for by advertising rather than the consumer. So, ironically, GDP may actually fall even though the quantity and quality of services is actually increasing. Accounting for these digital products can add up to three quarters of a percentage point to real GDP growth for each year over the past decade. And the faster the pace of change, the bigger these measurement issues will become unless something is done. Measuring the economy has never been harder. That's why the government has asked me to look at ways that we can future-proof our economic statistics to make sure that they better reflect Britain's modern, complex, dynamic economy. You can read my report online for free.